Hi all, it's Ben. And today we're actually going to extract the cartridge in there and replace it because what happens is when you turn it on and the shower goes, the shower only provides hot water and not cold water. Even if you have it at the lowest setting, it's just gonna let out the hot water. So we know the mixing cartridge inside this unit is probably broken or needs to be replaced. We know because we replaced it in the past. And so we bought the parts, and you'll see in the next clip, from Home Depot. There's actually two parts. We're not sure which one needs to be replaced, so we'll change them out one by one because they're kind of pricey. So from experience, these are the parts that need to be installed. We're not sure if this needs to be replaced, but we know from experience of having the same issue, it might be this one that needs to be replaced and maybe this one too. Yeah, the first time we did it in another shower, we I only replaced this one and didn't realize I had to replace that one and it did not work. So then once I replaced that one as well, it worked. So at this point, we're going to try to replace this one first and see if that fixes the problem. Then I can return this. This one's about 40 something dollars. This is about 50 something dollars. So this is everything that comes with the part. This is the flow mixer for both the hot and cold water. And as you remember, I mentioned earlier, the problem is we only get hot water and the cold water doesn't mix in. So you, even if at the lowest setting, it's scalding hot water or however hot the water heater is. So it comes with this and as well as some washers. Now, whenever you replace a brand new part, you always replace the seals and washers. So we're not gonna reuse the old ones that we're gonna extract. We're always gonna use these new ones. And so last time, it was a pretty easy drop-in replacement, so we're hoping this time it'll be the same thing. Before you do any kind of plumbing exercise, you need to turn off the water. This is the uh, portable tankless water heater, but you don't need to do anything with that. This is but the water valve. That's the water valve, the main valve. You just gotta turn it and turn off the water. Because the pipe's going up and down, you turn it up. 90 up. degrees. Bam! And then since we're in a condo at the lowest point, you let out some of the water down here, helps the process up there. You just drain the water down here for a bit, and then upstairs you just go open some of the faucets and flush the toilet. It that... just helps prevent the water from like gushing out of the shower thing when you're pulling things out. And now you just drain the rest of the water in the house. Open up a faucet, flush the toilets. This is just so you don't have a big mess when you're working on that. So, we're gonna extract the cartridges now. So this is a Kohler, and all you do is just start twisting this part. And actually earlier, I did open this up to check things inside, so I already scraped off some of the um, grouting or whatever they put on. Yeah, the caulking. Caulking, yeah. Caulking. I'm a gentleman. You just keep twisting and you can see it's going loose. Yay, Pam. Pam is a strong, independent woman <laughs> that repairs things on her own because she can. She don't need no plumber. Well, the first time we got this fixed, the handyman, it cost $300. And then the second time, when I did it myself, it cost like $100. That was just for parts, so the end. So this, you just have to take off this, these different screws, this thing, and then you start pulling it off. Close your drains just so if something falls, it doesn't fall in. Take it off. Kind of just jimmy it off. And then now you gotta take this other metal piece off. And the way to remember how to put this in is there's gonna be an extra hole for this little white piece in here. So you just have to remember, take a look at things before you take it out so you know where everything goes. Out. 
So this is the part that we think is the one that needs to be replaced, and only this part. This part might still be good because that seems like it's okay, and this one that in Pam's left hand is the mixer for the hot and cold water. So I think the handyman, if you based on look what it looks like, it doesn't even have cooler on it. So I think it was a generic piece. Maybe that's why it, it broke much faster. It's only been like three, four years, and it already went bad. The new part, cold and hot sides, and it's a mixer because you don't wash or shower with just hot and cold, ideally. Okay. So this is the new piece, see, colder right there. Um, and I already put in these in here, so it kind of matches like that, that's what I'm doing. And so now I'm trying to figure out where do these pieces all go. And so I just see online that some of these you could take, so see how there's some grime right there, I don't know if they put um, certain things in there to help it lubricant or something. Yeah. So you could just replace these so then if you don't want to replace this whole thing you have these to help replace it splendid so here we go and that comes off doesn't that equal this new one old one this goes over there this comes off and that goes over here Alright, so you just uh, the kit comes with all those new seals which you always should replace. Even if they look visually okay, it's good to replace seals because you're already replacing the part and it's just going to save you a lot of headaches in the end. Here so we when we go. go in there, it should fit perfectly when this gets like that. Cool. So we know that when we put it in, that's what it should look like. Cold is always on the right, usually, I believe. So this is cold right here. So we're gonna put it in this way. And all you do is you really just put it in there and it pretty much should just match up directly based on just the piping. And you can't really move it anywhere else, so that's it. And then this one, so the thing to watch out for this one is kind of like where this thing at the top is where it stops so when you see the crank when we cranked it up this thing's gonna get cranked up to here and stop there at the hottest level so this is, should be on the top so we just take that and just fit it in and then right now if it's not fitting perfectly it won't matter because you'll put this in and when you screw it down it'll screw it on And so I just go backwards. And as you're putting in screws, you kind of put them all in and then you tighten them all kind of sequentially, but don't tighten one down all the way and then you put in the other ones one by one. You always kind of put and start all of them and then you tighten them down together. So like the whole thing with this is when you screw it back on, this will turn. So we'll probably leave this part off for now and we could turn this just to see if it works so we don't have to put back the whole thing. Right. So we'll head down, turn on the water, and then we'll come back up and the hot water, tankless water heater heated up and we just got to make sure, you know, it's mixing the cold with the hot and not just provide hot. Give it a try. All right, here we go. Oh, this thing's hard to turn. There we go. Let's, let's turn. We're going to try to go in higher and then we'll bring it back down and see if it can cool it down. That was our problem. Well, like now it's really hot. Okay. And then we want to see if it. 
It's cool. Oh, it's cool down. Yes, so okay. now it's cold water. Yay. So it looks like the problem has been resolved. Yay, we don't have to... Yay, we don't have to change the front part. I'm going to turn that. Yay. It's too popular, yeah. Yep, at the bottom, it's cold water. Yay! Yay. That's good. So, the problem was the mixer, which is this part in here, was uh, worn out, broken, degraded, and it was just providing hot water. And it should provide cold water, because you don't want to just be showering in pure hot water. So we changed this part out. It's a cold or genuine part from Home Depot. It cost about 40 to 50 bucks. And that's pretty much it. Now we're just attached to this guy back on, which isn't going to be that exciting. Put it back on there, seal it all up, and call it a day. All right, so there's a little hole on this bottom here. That's where the water, if it comes down, it has a hole to come out of. So yeah, you so it drains. And so, after running it, I don't see any water coming out from here inside either, so that's good. No leaks. All you have to do is put this here and then just stick this that fits between kind of that white and black part and just start turning. But the one thing to watch out for is you want to keep this guy at the very bottom because if you get here, it kind of it's a square on the inside that fits that same square here. So if you have the wrong angle, then you gotta like turn it in an awkward position. So if you can keep it at the very bottom, because right in the beginning it's still loose, but as you turn, if you let it turn with everything, it's gonna kinda go in the wrong location. So in the beginning you could kinda turn, but if you can, just try to keep it toward the bottom. And like anything that screws on, it's hard to get things to screw on properly in the beginning. There we go. So now I think that's ca caught on and staying down there. Now it's at the six o'clock and then full blast would be at the 12 o'clock roughly. 11 to 12 o'clock. Yep, so we just got now just keep twisting this middle part and don't turn this because it's going to turn on the water. All right, so that's pretty much it how to replace it. You save yourself like $300 by doing it yourself and just buying for the parts. This total project took less than an hour from start to finish, probably even less if we just kind of stuck our nose to it, but we kind of reshot some things. And as you can tell, we're not very good. That's how come the quality is still pretty bad. But let's not talk about my camera work and directing debut. Now, <clears throat> what you could do, like we'll probably do off camera, but you could probably re this to seal up the surface between this bezel and the tile. But that's not really an interesting video. We're just trying to show you how to replace yeah. this guy. Yeah, it's screwed on pretty tight, but yeah, as you see, there's a little crack, and right there, there's a hole. So it's, we'll probably do a very thin layer just to make sure that part gets closed up. Yep. So that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. That's uh, Home Repairs with Pam. <laughs>